Good evening YouTube. I'm coming to you this evening as a proud Leicester girl. <laughs> For once I never thought I'd see the day that I'd be saying this. For once I would give anything to be back in Leicester celebrating this amazing win with the city and it wouldn't hurt to see Kasabian live as well. I missed their last time when they came to Leicester. When I was in Morsey, and I'm missing it again. I'm gutted, but oh well, it's amazing seeing all the love and support that's going on back at home. Um, but that is not the reason that I'm coming to you guys today. I wanted to talk to you about not achieving results and what to do if you are in that sticky situation because we've all been there everyone has had that frustrating feeling when you're putting everything into whatever it is that you're trying to achieve and you're not achieving the desi desired outcome that you're hoping for um spoiler alert i'm not gonna be sending you off to go and purchase some magic pill uh, neither am I going to be giving you some top secret information it is as simple as this ok so taking this in chunks let's make it simple and divide it up starting off with where you're at as it stands um, first of all is what you're seeing a reality or are you tired are you hungry? Are you in a bad mood? Are you on a low carb diet and feeling the strain of it in this particular moment? Um, if that is the case, go and get a good night's sleep, get a good meal in you, take a look at yourself again on fresh eyes because if you're feeling in a bad mood that is going to reflect in how you feel about yourself and how you're doing. Or are you fixated by a number on a scale which doesn't seem to be budging? Um, and this is one reason I really promote progress pictures with anyone that I'm trying to help to reach their goals. And the reason being that number on the scale may not be moving, but that doesn't account for changes in your body composition. We've all heard that muscle weighs more than fat, and that is a fact, not a myth. So your body may be changing, that doesn't necessarily mean um, that the scales are going to go down as such, but that's okay. It's not all about a number on a piece of equipment, it's about how you look and it's about how you feel. So once you've assessed where you're at, you can then have a look at what is going well and what is going not so well. And these two factors go hand in hand. And this is the point where you need to be brutally honest with yourself. And by that I mean, are you sticking to your diet plan? Are you training at a high enough intensity? And even more simply, are you getting all of your workouts in? Are you doing the cardio that you should be doing? Um, I've had girls complain to me in the past that they haven't lost the weight that they were hoping for. Um, but then I've seen them for example, cut their sprints short when they should be doing 10 minutes of sprints, they've done five and then just snuck off thinking that nobody noticed. I noticed. And that's where you've got to realise if you're not putting in the work, you can't be annoyed and frustrated by the results that you haven't achieved. It's as simple as that. Energy in versus energy out. Now to put this into perspective, um, I'm a prime case of being a nightmare in this way. Um, a few weeks ago I was getting frustrated because I wasn't losing weight even though I was sticking to my plan and I was working my bum off. Um, then I s sat down and made a bit of an honest evaluation myself um, and had a look at the way my week was working out and six days a week, yes, I was killing my workouts, I was doing my cardio, I was sticking to my diet plan um, and then on the seventh day being a Sunday I have some downtime I have a day off I don't train I just go for a bit of a walk and I generally eat what I want 
Um, turns out in that single day, I must be eating close to a week's worth of calories. Um, so no wonder that my weight wasn't budging. It wasn't going up as such, um, but it wasn't going down either. I was just maintaining. So it was almost as if through the week, I would work off the damage that I did on a Sunday and then as soon as we get back round to Sunday, the damage is done again. Never ending cycle. Um, and if you know me, you'll know that I don't mess around when it comes to eating. Um, I out eat James on the regs and <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> I probably should be. Um, but the difference being, in three weeks I start my prep for the Arnold. Um, and those crazy days of eating will be no more. I will have to rein them in a fair amount. Um, and they will still be food that I'm craving and that I want, but they will be much more sensible. Not to the point where we're eating pizza, lasagna, chips, pancakes, ice cream, cheesecake, chocolate, you name it. It goes down. <laughs> Um, and it's it's these moments where you do have to be realistic and honest with yourself and think can I really expect to eat all of that food and walk away with abs and be lean no you can't unless you are some freak of nature luckiest person in the world that is not the case you are not going to be able to get away with that kind of damage and yes, of course, I'm always going to promote anyone in the world to treat themselves and give themselves that mental and physical break um, to enjoy the food that you love um, and find that balance. Um, but it is just all about being honest and realistic with yourself for the way that you can behave and what can be achieved through that behaviour. And then it's at this point you need to make the distinction between are you not achieving your results due to a lack of willpower or is it due to a lack of knowledge and education? Once you've made that honest decision from there, you either need to kick up the bum if it's a fact that you don't have the willpower and you need to decide through yourself do I want to achieve this goal enough to make those sacrifices or is it genuinely the fact that you don't know what you're doing wrong and if that is the case you either need to start learning and doing your own research or hire a coach that's where coaches come in that's what you pay them for to give you that instruction and that guidance that you need to achieve your goal so it really is as simple as that. It's easy to bury your head in the sand and say, why me, why am I not achieving my goals, I'm working so hard. But 99.9% .9 of the time, if you are honest with yourself and you, I find writing everything down um, gives me a real perspective because you can sometimes play things out in your head. Um, write it down, look at it with honest eyes, maybe get a second pair of eyes to have a look for you um, and then from there start doing something about it like I say if you're serious about achieving a goal then either get to work yourself or get hunting for a coach who can lead the way for you um, as always if you have any questions feel free to email me I will do my best to uh, help out in any way I can um, but that's all from me